Hey, hey, it's Naturally Nayla, and today we are making a swimsuit. I decided to level up, and I hope you are willing to take this next step with me too. I was inspired by these two companies because their advertisements were everywhere. And before I start, the only item I purchased was the fabric, meaning this project was only $2. Anywho, here is the list of supplies and alternatives. I personally enjoy a good high-rise bikini. Here I am getting the outline from one of my favorite bikini bottoms to avoid the extra hassles of measuring. Okay, depending on the fabric you have, you can skip this part, but for me, my fabric was kind of sheer, so I had to double my layers. Next, I secured the edges and made the tube for the strings later. Again, I had to thicken the front and back with two layers of fabric, making those four pieces I had earlier into two whole pieces. Then combine the finished product at the bottom and here I present to you a bikini bottom. Now for the strings, I have two methods. Depending on your fabric, you can pull on it and the fabric will curl and become uniform without sewing. This process was also used to make my dress. You can click the icon to view that tutorial. Method two, I call the inverted method. I did not have a hook and my fabric did not curl, so I had to flip it with a pencil. I hooked one end of the fabric to the pencil, then gathered the fabric and pushed it in the other end to get my seamless strings. On to inserting the string. I have done this countless times in my life. Grab a pin or a bobby pin or both and we are almost done. After finding hundreds of bra pads from other bikinis, I almost switched my design to be triangular, but for the sake of trying something new, I just cut the pointy end off and formed my shape. Call me the queen of shortcuts because I did not want to switch my spot in such an intense DIY so I grabbed my purse as measurement for the cups because it was the closest thing to me. Then I turned my fabric inside out and sealed the top and bottom. Right here I made two more adjustments to make our little tunnel like we did for the bottoms and I ended up cutting off about two inches of excess fabric but, but I left enough to create some ruffles later. If I'm gonna have an open part, I should just sew it so it doesn't look as messy as this one. I'm just gonna have to redo it. 
this was the first one that I did, and I tried it. It's not as cute for me, so I'm gonna have to redo it. But I'm almost done. Here we are. I cannot believe I made a bikini set. And I will also admit I could have shortened my fabric to get smaller ruffles, but oh well, this will do. <laughs> I've been getting bonbon candy wrapper or mermaid seashell vibes from this really cute bikini trend. What about you? I almost forgot to mention, to prevent my strings from unraveling, I tied knots at the end. And with all this being said, do not forget to share and like this video and tag me if you tried this project. Thanks for watching everyone and see you soon!